All right, well, welcome to our daily encouragement. I'm Pastor Brady. It's so good to be with you today. We're looking at a very special uh, section of scripture here from 1 Corinthians 13, which you might be familiar with if you've ever been to a wedding, because I think it's read at just about every wedding. In fact, I did a wedding a couple weekends ago, and this is what they requested. Um, it's interesting, 1 Corinthians 13, because it Paul talks about what is the most excellent way for us as Christians to live, not just as a married couple, but uh, as Christians who are seeking to live together. And Paul's specifically talking to the church here at Corinth about how they are to live in relationship to one another. And so it speaks to the power of love here. And so before Paul really defines love, listen to what he says in verses one through three about the importance of love. So here Paul sets the stage for it. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Here's how he defines love in verse four. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. For love never fails. I was reading something the other day that was on this passage actually and gave kind of an interesting exercise. The author was was challenging us seeing if we were, were if we believe we were living in this kind of love that Paul is is talking about. And so he, he challenged us to do something that I found to be um, interesting and convicting. So I will share that with you. If you have your Bible out, you're looking at 1 Corinthians 13, I want you to begin in verse 4, uh, and I want you to substitute the word love with your name. If you want to know whether or not you're living in the kind of love that God has called us to, then I want you to take out the word love and insert your name there. So it would read just like this. Brady is patient. Brady is kind. Brady does not envy and Brady does not boast, and Brady is not proud. I want you to take a, a minute to read this, doing this with, with your name. This is the second time I've done that, and <laughs> it's hard to read this without feeling some sense of conviction. When you put your name there for love, you read this and you think, boy, I sure wish this was true. <laughs> I wish I was always patient, and I wish I didn't boast, and I wish I wasn't proud. Uh, but it makes you mindful of the ways in which you are this and the growth that needs to happen for us to live into this kind of love. And I don't want to leave you disheartened in this because what this just shows us is the grace that we need uh, for God to give us and supply us that we can grow in love so that we can become the kind of people who are kind and patient, who are not proud, who seek not to dishonor others, who are not self-seeking or easily angered. Um, 
And so our prayer today is that God is going to indeed um, help us grow to be the people who love in that way. And the prayer I, I want to share with us actually comes from uh, Henry Alford, and it's, I, I think, a powerful prayer to grow us in love and a prayer that's, I think, a fitting one for us to share today. So uh, let us use his prayer as our closing prayer today. O oh God, perfect us in love, that we may conquer all selfishness and hatred of others. Fill our hearts with thy joy and shed abroad in them thy peace, which passeth, passeth understanding, that so those murmurings and disputings to which we are too prone may be overcome. Make us long-suffering and gentle, and thus subdue our hastiness and angry tempers, and grant that we may bring forth the blessed fruits of the Spirit to thy praise and glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for being with us today. Have a blessed day.